All right, time for the anime and manga news for the week ending April 13th, 2012. Starting with probably the big news of the past couple of weeks, a second season of Oremo has been announced. Ore no imoto ga konan blah 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 blah. Oremo, that's what we all call it. Um, second season will be made, but that's all we know. Second season, but good. Um, that's particularly good because it comes on the heels of news that the original writer of Oremo, um, Tukasa Fushimi, has finally gotten a uh, certain man arrested. A 32-year-old unemployed man was sending death threats to Fushimi. Um, uh, reportedly, over 500 emails he sent to this uh, to, to the author, um, saying things like "Die fraud! I'm finding your home address, and I'll make you regret it." Um, apparently, this man was frustrated with the larger role of Kuro Neko in recent storylines. Yeah, that's just weird. Even by anime standards. Um, moving over to another cute girl show, K-On! has been credited partly for historic electric guitar sales. Uh, sales of electric guitars in Japan have been have increased dramatically, um, going from, uh, let's see here, uh, um, actually it's been, been going steadily for, for several years now. Um, literally setting historic records for electric guitar sales. Obviously, there are multiple um, things involved, but folks have been saying they've been getting back into, into guitars because of K-On! and, and, and doing uh, light music clubs and things like that. So there's a good example of um, you know, something in the, in the real world being affected by anime in a positive way. Uh, meanwhile, the real-life school that was the inspiration for the design for the school in K-On! will be screening the K-On! film. <coughs> excuse me, they've announced that the uh, that, uh, um, Sakura Gaoka excuse me, Sakura Gaoka high, uh, sorry yeah, read, read, read that one wrong um, Toyosato Elementary School which was the base, anyway um, will be screening the K-On! film um, the thing is it's an elementary school so, you know, high school, whatever K-On! will certainly work for that crowd so um, that, that's kind of cool to see that, that thing happening um, oh, I should have mentioned this, actually. Um, some licensing news. Anaplex um, has announced they're going to re-release Oremo and Garden of Sinners on DVD. So for all of you who are not willing to spend such a uh, large amount on the uh, uh, Blu-ray and, and the special editions of Oremo and Garden of Sinners, there will now be a DVD release. No word yet on the exact price, but undoubtedly they'll be less expensive. And they've already said these will be regular edition as opposed to limited edition. So we'll actually be able to get some copies of that that aren't you know, very expensive. Uh, let's see here. Uh, switching back into the classics, Namco Bandai has confirmed that it is developing a Dragon Ball Z video game for the Kinect. So yes, you'll be able to literally do a Kamehameha on your Kinect. Awesome. <coughs> and you'll be able to do that with your cat ears. That's right. If you've seen the videos of the actual working cat ears, uh, Neuroware, the Japanese uh, company that, that makes them, has announced it will be selling consumer versions of these um, uh, coming soon. They've been um, for sale at various cons here and there. Um, but they will be going for regular, uh, a regular retail release um, uh, soon. They'll probably cost about $100 for a pair. Basically, you put them on, the, on your head and they actually move. They're supposed to actually move based on your brain waves. Like they, they can tell your, uh, your overall mood and they'll, they'll go down a little bit and up and things like that, which is a little silly, but hey, it, you know, whatever. Um, that, that's, you know... <laughs> That's anime. Um, so you may be seeing those in a store near you. In another store near you, uh, if you happen to be in Japan, Bandai has, has announced it will be opening a, a, a set of stores called Strict G, which, get this, is going to target fashion-conscious con fashion male Gundam fans in their 20s to 40s. Um, so basically it's going to be clothing, we're talking jeans and shirts and sunglasses and so forth, made for male adult Gundam fans. So, you know, sunglasses that look like Char's sunglasses and jeans that look like Gundam jeans. I, mm, mm, um, I think it's a neat idea. and I'll, I'll be curious to see if it actually goes anywhere over there in Japan. So, more news on that, I guess. But it, just, it does go to show how this anime stuff can, again, get out into the real world. Um, moving back into a weirder territory, uh, we've had Bakamoto Gatari, we've had Katana Gatari, we've had Nisei Monogatari. Um, and the upcoming Kizu Monogatari, well, they finally just went all in and, and, and said, okay, we're licensing all of them. 
So all of those Monogatari stories that were uh, uh, written by Nisi Oisin um, have been uh, greenlit for anime productions. So all that weird stuff you will actually get to see in anime form. So awesome. Just fine. Speaking of which, um, <clears throat> um, Unaffected America has announced that they have licensed Bakamoto Gatari. Um, uh, 15 episodes, of course. Uh, let's see here. Um, no announcements on whether that will be digital or home video or whatever. But that is the plan there. So we will be getting that stateside. That's good. We'll also be getting a re-release of Paradise Kiss, the manga. Uh, which was published back in the mid-2000s uh, over here in America. And kind of dropped off the face of the earth. But it was it, it certainly been considered one of the uh, more remarkable manga releases over here. So good to see that that is getting a re-release over here in America. And by Vertical, so they'll do a great job with it. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, moving on from that, just a couple of weird things to finish off with. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, get this. Um, Nobuhiro Watsuki, the original mangaka who drew Rurouni Kenshin, has announced he's going to do a new Rurouni Kenshin manga that will focus on the battles fought with characters in the upcoming live-action Kenshin film. But everyone thought the live-action Kenshin film was about existing characters. I mean, you see Shishio and Saito and all those characters in the trailer. So what's he going to draw? No one... I, I don't know. It's strange. So who knows? Um, but we're going to see a maybe a movie manga? Of, eh, weird. I mean, you'd think he'd have better things to do. I don't know. Finally, um, uh, Madoka Magica has spawned a live-action comedy. Um, Singer-actress Shoko Tan, Shoko Nakagawa, um, uh, plays Madoka in this live-action um, comedy movie, with uh, Homura being played by Hiroyuki, the founder of Niko Niko Doga. Hiroyuki's a guy. Yeah. Um, Hatsune Mas Matsushima, who worked at, in Akihabara at Deep, will be Sayaka. Um... And other characters around. Um, an executive from Dwango will, will be Kyubei. It's weird. Um, it's one of those fan things. It's just kind of bizarre. Um, they're actually doing like a full live action Madoka Magica thing. With Homura as a guy. And the founder of Nico. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, you know. It's on me. 